Boys and girls, get your reading book that looks like this. It's book, my book, three. And then turn to the story that's called Blackout. Pause this while you get your reading book. Okay, this is called Blackout by John Rocco. We can look at the pictures and we can tell that it's dark. We can see people that are on top of a building and it looks like they have their flashlights out. So we're going to read this story and to see why it may be dark and why they're on top of the building here. Okay, let's look on page 16 at the words. Okay, paying attention as we read, putting your finger under the words as we read. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. I wonder why the author started the story the way he did. The words started out and normal are hint that things will be different later. I think these, reader, these words make the readers want to keep reading. So let's keep reading to see what it's like. But let's look at the pictures a little bit to help us figure out. It looks like it's nighttime. It looks like this may be taking place in a city. Okay, because it looks like these are apartment buildings. That's lots of little rooms inside of one building where people live. Yeah, I see cars. And it's going beep, beep. That's a taxi cab. I see stores. And it says this it takes place in the city. That's the setting. It says it was hot. Maybe it's a summer night. And look at the pictures here. I see a little girl playing. I see someone talking on the telephone. And she's saying, and then he said, I see someone down here on a computer. And I see someone over here cooking. So these are the kinds of things that people are doing in the different rooms in the apartment. Okay, let's turn the page and keep on reading here. Inside, everyone was busy. What is the boy in the story trying to do? Yes, he's trying to find someone to play a board game with him. It says, scotch something. And it says it takes two or more players, so he needs someone to play with them. He goes to someone here, looks like maybe a sister, and what is she doing? She's on the phone and she's hollering, get out! I don't think she's very happy that he bothered her. Okay, let's keep reading. And here, the little girl's going down the steps. Here she's going in where probably her father is, and it says, much... Sorry, and it says much too busy. Everybody was too busy. Dad was too busy cooking. Mom was too busy on the computer. So the poor little girl didn't have anyone to play with. And then, okay, what's going on here? Right, and then... She's playing her vid she's going upstairs and she's playing her video games. But what happened? And then the lights went out. You can tell it's light in the city, then it's a little bit darker, and then here it's very dark. So the lights went out. So he's going upstairs to play the video game and the lights go out. Do you think he can play a video game when the lights are out? No, because that means the electricity is out. They have no power, so the video game is not going to work if there is no power. Do you think he's upset? Let's keep reading. All of them. That means all of the lights went out. And what did he holler? Mom! The word mom on this page is huge, isn't it? Since the word is in a speech balloon here, and the boy's mouth is wide open in the picture, I bet he is screaming for his mom. Do you think he might be scared? Sometimes when lights go out, we're scared because it is dark outside. 
Nothing worked at all. The telephone didn't work. The video games wouldn't work. The stove wouldn't work where mom cooked. Okay, here, where is that light coming from, you think? Let's keep reading to see. The city was dark and quiet. Why would there be a light on here? Ah, maybe they had a candle burning, you think, or a flashlight. This says again, the city was dark and quiet, and at the bottom, and still. We sometimes use those words when it is very quiet and there's no hustle and bustle going on. We huddled around flashlights and candles. What are they doing there to entertain themselves? Right, they're making shadows with their hands. The cat made a shadow with his body. They're making shadow with their hands. Okay, mom has a flashlight here. There's a candle there. And at what time did the blackout happen? Probably around 8.30 according to the clock. The clock on the wall probably stopped when the blackout happened because it had no electricity. Okay. Until it was too hot and sticky to sit inside. If it's a blackout and you don't have electricity, then probably you don't have any air condition, so it gets hot. Can we go to the rooftop and found and up and up, up, so we went. <gasps> Look what she's doing on the way up. What is she doing? Making shadows while someone is holding the flashlight there. Okay, so first the lights went out. Nothing worked. It got too hot, so they're going upstairs. The lights and people. It was a block party in the sky. We waved to everyone then heard other sounds below. What does the author mean when he says it was a block party in the sky? Yes, everyone is on the roof having fun. So it looks like a party up in the sky, doesn't it? Here we can see them cooking up there, playing with each other, talking to each other, having dinner, listening to music and dancing. So they're having a good time. So we went down and down and down to the street. Come on. Okay. Why do you think the authors repeated these words down, down? Maybe to remind us that they lived up high in an apartment and they had to come down the steps to get to the bottom. A party was going on there too. Look at the party and the things they're doing. Playing in the water, that'll cool them off. Talking to each other, playing games. Here it says freeze. She's giving out free ice cream to them. Yippee, he's running to the water. Here, la, la, la. He's playing his guitar and they're singing. So it looks like they're having fun. And no one was busy at all. They're sitting there enjoying their ice cream, talking. When the lights came back on, everything went back to normal. Okay, now it is a quite different from how they were before the lights went out, isn't it? They're not busy doing different things that use electricity. They're spending time together. But when the lights came back on, they went back to doing their normal things. But not everyone likes normal. Okay.
click, click. What did she do? Yes, she turns the, he turns the lights back off. The family decides to look, play a game, and spend time doing something together, which is something different that they don't usually do. She says, I got to go because sister wants to play the game now, right? And dad says, good idea, buddy. So, so things were different from the beginning of the story to the end. At the beginning of the story, they did not want to play together or do things together. But at the end, after the blackout, they did want to spend time together. So things changed. Could this story really happen? Yes. But did it really happen? No. So this is fiction, but it's a special kind of fiction called realistic fiction. It could have really happened, but it didn't.